We've been using Ziploc bags wrong our entire life. Thumbs up if you can relate to this one. I just made some muffins here. I want to freeze them, so I'm gonna seal this bag, and what we do is we flatten it like this to try to get all the air out, and then we'll go ahead and close off our bag, seal it as best as we can, and then we'll put it in the freezer. Or let's just say you had a lemon, granted you wouldn't use this large of a bag, you pop it in there, again, trying to get all the air out by pressing, doing this, and then quickly sealing this bag. But you can see here, there is still a decent amount of air trapped inside the bag. I'm gonna show you a way to seal your Ziploc bags correctly that's gonna keep your food fresher for longer. So let's use the example here of my banana chocolate chip muffins. Love making these for my kids. Here's what you are going to do. By the way, this was filled at one point in time. So no matter how many items you have in your bag, you can use this strategy. Now, there's two ways to do this. The second one is the one that you're probably gonna wanna do. You can go ahead, get as much air out as you possibly can, and then you're just gonna seal half the bag to about there. And we're gonna keep one part open. Now, I would only do this if you're the only person that's gonna be eating the remaining of the items in the bag. And all you need to do is go ahead, put your mouth on this, and suck out the remaining air. Look at that. You've just created your very own vacuum seal. But let me show you a more sanitary way to do this. Now, depending upon how big of a bag you have, you're gonna need to suck more air out the larger the bag, you're sucking more air. You get it. All right, this is what we're gonna do this time again. We're gonna press as much air out as we possibly can, and we're gonna close it even farther. But this time, you're gonna grab a dun da da a straw. You're just gonna stick that in there, close it up, and then watch the magic, my friend. Take your straw out, and there you go. Look at how tight that is. Now, what I would typically do is put your items closer together. So for example, open this up. The less space you have between the items, the better vacuum seal that you'll get for everything inside there. So one more time, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna put our straw inside and you're gonna go ahead and suck out that air. And you can see this time, because the items were closer together, look at that, these muffins are gonna be fresher for longer. Now, if you wanna see some clever alternative hacks when it comes to Ziploc bags, for example, how to make these bags any size you want, click the video on screen now, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.